Today we're tackling one of the most popular party appetizers of all time, and I'm here to tell you, you've been making it all wrong. With a few minor adjustments, you can take your queso dip or rotel dip to new heights. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right, my friends, we're gonna get the party started with all of our prep work. We need to go ahead and dice one onion. We're gonna do a fine dice on that. I like to leave the root intact. Cut the other end off, cut it right in half. Again, leaving the root in place. Peel the skin off. Once you got the skin removed, we're gonna go ahead and make slices in one direction. Don't cut through the root of the onion. This will keep everything intact making it a little easier for you to dice. Then take your knife in the other direction, once or twice, depending on how fine you want your dice to be, and boom, you got a diced onion. Nice and simple. Repeat that process for your entire onion. It's really the only chopping we're gonna be doing today. All right, my friends, I know I'm on record as saying I'm not the biggest fan of Velveeta cheese, but today, this is one opportunity for us to be able to use it and I'm not going to complain about it. This actually goes really well with this recipe, but I do like to add my own shredded cheese also, something like a smoked Gouda or Havarti and a little sharp cheddar. Today we're using white and yellow Velveeta that we're going to cut up into small pieces. If I can get it out the box and then we're going to shred the other cheese. For those of you guys that don't know, Velveeta is basically like a heavily processed American cheese. It melts beautifully though, which is perfect for our queso that we're gonna make today, or Rotel dip as some people call it because it has the Rotel tomatoes in there. I prefer the fire roasted version. We're gonna cut this block down into bite-sized pieces. That way it melts a little bit easier for us. And I'm doing this in the oven today. You can do this on the stove top, on the grill or smoker, or in the crock pot but I like to develop that flavor by searing the sausage in the skillet like we're gonna do here just in a minute. The next pro tip, my friends, is to use Jimmy Dean sausage. I like to use hot, you can use regular or mild, whatever you find, but you wanna use some sausage. The breakfast sausage, for whatever reason, just adds a ton of flavor to the dip a lot more than you'll get from standard you know, ground beef or ground turkey, whatever you're using. So we're gonna throw this in a cold skillet, smash it down because I wanna get some good Maillard reaction, which is basically meaning we wanna get some crust to develop. So I'm gonna smash it down in a cold skillet and then turn it on medium high and try to get some nice browning. If you want, you can throw a little avocado oil in there. It's gonna make plenty of oil from the fat content in the sausage, but we just wanna get the party started a little bit. Give this a good four to five minutes. That crust is gonna to add tons of flavor, texture, and color to your dip. All right, so again, you wanna get some nice color developing like you see right here. That's gonna add a ton of flavor and texture to your dip that you're just not gonna get when you just throw it in a crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and sear off the meat like you see right here. Then we're gonna get those onions in there, tenderize those and season it to taste. And then we'll add everything to our casserole dish and pop that in the oven at 375. All right guys, so for the season and blend today, we got some smoked paprika, some chili powder, some cumin, one packet of sesame, and my all-purpose seasoning. And you can use whatever your favorite all-purpose is, or just a little salt, pepper, you know, garlic, onion powder, things like that. Maybe you wanna go a little bit on, on the lower sodium side since Saison has quite a bit of sodium in there and you can kinda of adjust it as you need to. Smelling amazing in here already. But that's the color you wanna see. Let's get in here real close and show you guys what I'm talking about. So we have our oven preheated at 375 degrees. We got a nine by 11 casserole dish. You can do this in a deep or large cast iron skillet as well. We're gonna go ahead and add in all of our Velveeta cheese. Super easy, guys. This is going in the oven. We're gonna stir it every you know, 15 minutes or so, every 10 minutes to 15 minutes, just to make sure everything's cooking evenly. Next, we're going in with our one can of Rotel. I have an extra can that we're gonna use strictly for garnish. We're gonna add some of our cheese here, the Gouda and the cheddar. Use whatever cheese you got in the fridge is just fine. Pepper Jack works well, mozzarella, anything like that. Then in comes our meat and onions. And last but not least, one of my secret ingredients for my queso dip or Rotel dip is the juice 
from one can of Chipotle's in adobo. Adds a beautiful smoky flavor to the recipe, a little bit of spice, and just tons of This for sure is gonna kick your flavor profile up to the next level. If you wanna add the peppers in there, if you like it real spicy, you can definitely do that. I don't want this to be too hot, so I'm gonna be a little bit of a punk here and just use the juice only. If a little bit of pepper gets in there, I'm not gonna lose my mind, but I'm gonna get mostly the juice. All right, so once your casserole dish is ready to go, this is going in a 375 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until everything is melted and combined really nicely. You wanna stir it every 10 minutes or so. So we'll be right back to stir this. In the meantime, we're gonna prep our tortilla chips. The next pro tip, my friends, to take your queso dip to the next level is to make your own tortilla chips. I promise you there's nothing like it. For that, you just need some corn tortillas. We're gonna go ahead and cut them into triangles. Grab a nice sharp knife. You can cut them into small ones if you want to, or you can just cut them into quarters, which I'm gonna to do today. A little bit larger, get a little extra dip on your chip. We're gonna fry them in 350 degree oil. They fry up super quick, faster than me at an open bar wedding. Literally like a minute or two. So during the second stir, you should be able to mix it in nicely. The cheese should be melting enough for you to really Get in there and mix everything around. Make sure it's well combined. We're also gonna add about a half cup of heavy cream just to help thin everything out a little bit. Make it a little creamier. Just mix that in carefully. This should fit perfectly in a nine by 11 or nine by 12 casserole dish or a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I've done it in both. So to get that a mix, try not to burn your hand. And then another 10, 15 minutes, you got yourself the best queso dip you ever had. And it'll be time to go ahead and fry up these tortilla chips. So again, guys, this is one of my favorite things to do at home. Homemade tortilla chips are fantastic and they cook up super easy. And really they don't mess up your oil too bad. So your oil stay fresh. You can fry some chicken in this afterwards. We're gonna fry this at 350, literally just a couple minutes. Once they're nice and crispy, we're gonna move them to a wire rack and then hit them with some salt. You got some tortilla chips. All right, so we're on our last batch of tortillas here. Got to get in there for a quick taste test. It doesn't get better than that, guys. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, time for the moment of truth. And this is tough for me because I'm on a diet and this is my kryptonite. You sit me at a Mexican restaurant with a thing of tortilla chips in front of me and some cheese dip, you gotta drag me out of there. But I'm gonna show some restraint, one bite only. Hopefully I burn my mouth and make me not wanna go back for seconds. Mm. The skin off. See, what was I about to say? Just had a really good bar, I messed it up. <laughs>